Hello, welcome back. I hope you had a good little rest there after all those push-ups. How many of you did 100 push-ups and 100 roll-ups? All right. Uh, a nutrition tip. All right. I am going to introduce to you um, something that is a great power snack, or it can also be your breakfast or part of a breakfast. What it is, it is oats or oatmeal. Uh, when I say oatmeal, that means oats, which has been soaked in water overnight. Oats, uh, basically with three ingredients. A third of a green apple, honey, and cinnamon. All right? Now, I'm going to show it to you. All right? It looks a little bit funny because it's all mixed up. I don't know if you can see it there. If I'm holding it up right. Um, it's all mixed up. It's a third, third cup of oats soaked overnight with some honey and cinnamon and then a shredded green apple in it, all right? So, the health benefits of all this stuff. Uh, for those of you who are vegetarians or vegans, uh, you're not eating meat, which means you're missing out on zinc, iron, uh, especially in, that you get in meat, but you can get it in plants, as you know. Uh, you know how this works for those of you who are vegetarians or ve vegans. Um, for those of you who are every, everything etarians, such as myself, um, oats has got a lot of iron and it's got a lot of zinc in it. As a matter of fact, a normal serving of oats every day provides you with at least 20% of your zinc and iron intake. All right? Now, that's the oats. A lot of minerals, vitamins as well. Uh, the green apple, why green instead of red? It doesn't matter. It's a small difference. but. Green apples tend to have less carbohydrates and less sugars than red apples. So if you're on a diet or you want to cut, cut down on your sugars and carbs, by the way, fruits have carbs, especially bananas. Back to apples, um, green apples have less sugar and less carbs. Um, they've got more fiber, all right? And more antioxidants than red apples. Just a little bit of a difference, all right? I just like the taste. Now. An important ingredient here is cinnamon. Why cinnamon? Cinnamon, again, anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. So anytime you have a, a food that's provided by nature or a natural spice that says or claims to be high in anti-inflammatory and high in antioxidant properties, go for it because we need this stuff. All right. Now, the best thing about cinnamon is it's got a compound in it which works your metabolism. It fires up your metabolism and it works with your energy levels as well. So I like to eat cinnamon at least two or three times a day, whether it's cinnamon tea, uh, cinnamon in the oatmeal, whatever. All right. And I've got a drink here. Up to you. Uh, but I love herbal teas. This is peppermint. Uh, peppermint has got a lot of wonderful uh, qualities as well, and there's honey in there, all right? Now, honey is probably nature's most beautiful sugar. It gives you energy, and it gives you energy, and it gives you energy. It gives you energy right away, all right? And it's a sugar from nature, so it doesn't mess up with your health things. Stay away from processed sugars that are man-made because they're made by companies which are just making a lot of money and it's very bad for your health. Very bad for you. Stay away from it unless it's a prescribed treat or treat meal that you deserve after a good uh, many days of clean, healthy eating. All right, now that's enough of the health tips for today. We're going to go on with G major. This time we're going to do arpeggios. All right, so we're gonna start with a low G and then we're gonna play G, B, G, B, D, G, B, D, G. That's a G major arpeggio, all right? So play with me. We have to concentrate a little bit more in arpeggios than we do in scales, especially when we don't have music in front of us, all right?
piece. For those of you who are unable to buzz this low, buzz an octave higher and then catch us up again or just uh, catch us when you can, all right? G. going to do that one again after this video is over. All right? Like I said, this is live. When things are not perfect, I just keep going. All right? So, the idea is to play this again after buzzing it. So, let's play this again. All right? And then we'll buzz it again and we'll play it again. Subconscious of the brain registers that as your new standard for you to start there the next day. All right, now let's buzz this again. If you need to do a, that's fine. Now, another thing, feel free to mix up slurring with articulating. You can slur this exercise or you can articulate it or mix it up, okay? Logi. And reminder, if you need to do this, fine. G, B. Again, I'm going to do about five to ten more rounds of this, and I suggest you do this as well. So what I would like to do with this half of the class is we are just going to leave it at the G major arpeggio. And what I want you to do on your own 
is expand lower, go higher, expand lower, mix up articulation, mix up slurring, blow through it, such as this. And what I'm going to advise on this arpeggio is for today, don't go into the other keys, just hit G major, just hit G major, just hit G major, uh, variations of dynamics in articulations and ranges, basically until it stops getting better or until you start getting tired. And then you take a rest. And then when you're tired, then you go on to low register things, such as we've been doing in most of the classes. All right, so that's it for class number 10. We have 10 more to go. Uh, and next class uh, will be presented over the weekend, and we're going to hit the key of F, and I'm going to show you some other exercises. We'll do things like the Adam routine and muscle ups, and we'll start introducing some more things. Any questions? Send me a private message on Facebook or email me at tubacoach.gmail.com. Thanks for joining. Eat healthy food, stay clean positive thoughts, exercise, be good, obey your rules, let's, let's get this, these, 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 what do they say, flattening the curve, I think of it as a peak because I'm a mountaineer, I like to climb mountains, there's this peak, let's, let's do everything we can to stay inside and get this thing down so we can get back to as much of life as we knew it before as soon as possible, okay, we all do our part, I'm loving this, I hope you are too, please be in touch with me, don't be shy, and I look forward to you at the next class. All right, bye for now.